for podcast year two with Vox. Eleven oh one, eating dick for breakfast. <laughs> Mark. I don't know this guy, but he's got a great dick. Kara. It's like hey. Club Penguin, but like when you get into your high school years. And Natasha. I have never had a Pringle so and been like, wow, I really need to shit now. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, then, Mark. Hi. Welcome to TF4 Podcast. I am Marcus. Oh, I'm Kara. I'm Natasha. I'm Fox. Look at that. What is this? Be sure to check us out on YouTube. The YouTube. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I don't like that. <laughs> YouTube, TF4Podcast.com. I don't know. I can't read from there. It's what are Nina, you, blind? It's Nina Dobrev and Victoria Justice. Who's Nina Dobrev? From Vampire they Diaries? They look similar. Yeah, sure. She's also um, on Degrassi. Oh, you're right. I know she who you're talking about. She plays Mia. Yeah. Mia? Yeah. Sure. Maya. The, the second you said Degrassi, I was like, I know who you're saying. I know who you're yeah. talking about. Neil Degrassi. The cheerleader who has a daughter. Secretly. Anyways. So uh, check us out on YouTube, tf4podcast.com, uh, Redbubble if you want merch. Um, Redbubble. Wherever you can listen to other podcasts, except for Spotify. And yeah. R- like iHeart and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. And then, what am I you know that there's here? no Patreon. way to say the word bubble angrily and not laugh? Bubble! Fucking bubbles. God damn it, bubbles. You guys aren't laughing? No. 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 So uh, we just proved you're wrong. <laughs> 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 I, I never, that's like the first time Mark's been able to do it. You, you've you always laughed before trying to say it like an angry tone. Well, what about tickle my pickle? Can you say that pissed off? God damn it, Vox. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Tickle can. my pickle. These bubbles really tickle my pickle. I don't know why I have to say it in like a deep voice. Tickle my pickle. <laughs> tickle my pickle. Tickle yeah. my pickle. <laughs> Dude, we're so fucking It's stupid. like, that's what I was trying to tell you from You should from write that time down, Natasha. <laughs> deep dicking. <laughs> Get some deep, deep, deep dicking. <laughs> what? Write it, write it down. <laughs> write it down. From Wanderlust. <laughs> Deep dick. Deep dick. You know, I might have been Paul wrong, Rudd. but this is a good pathway to go down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Try to say deep dick in with a, without laughing. Deep dick in. <laughs> or in a mat. Say, uh, be geez. mad. So who, is that something that Paul Rudd said? Is that what you said? Yeah, in uh, Wander. That nudist movie that he did with Jennifer Aniston. He did a nudist movie with Jennifer Aniston? Well, they I, weren't nude in God it. God damn it. You know, from, from memory, me so hard. memory, Jessica can do the whole uh, slap in the basement scene slap in the from, base, Mom. from I Love You, Man. She I've knew the whole thing. Movie. I feel like we've talked about this before. I've never seen it. Slap in the base. I just don't care to see it. I like Paul Rudd, but it's don't. Paul ever Rudd's si- funny. Ever since someone, I watched No Role Models last night because I couldn't sleep. Did you finish your plugs, or did I just interrupt you? No, you. Everyone interrupted me. That's fine. That's fine. It doesn't uh, matter. Check us out on Patreon.com. Uh, shout out to our patrons: Steve, Dustin, Loch Ness, Loch Ness Monster, and my dad Sam. Hi. Boop, boop. Thank you. What did do? Uh, plugs are all done. Now everyone can actually listen. Sweet. Plugs, not drugs. What are we doing today? I don't know. Well, you guys had a, a phone call that you wanted to tell us about. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, uh, we'll get this out of the way real quick. Yeah, that's fine. S- so Story time. I got like a random call from a number that starts with <coughs> the same three numbers that mine does. And area code or like area code five eight six seven four four. Okay. Obviously, no one's gonna guess my number for the next couple. One whatever. two three four. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Got it. Um. So I always get Let calls call. from five eight six seven four four, and then just like a few random numbers. Yeah. Few, but I never answer them because they're always like you spam. Know, yeah. So Vox was like, let me answer it. And I was like, okay, whatever, fine. So he talks on the, he picks up the phone. He's like, what company is this? He's like, I don't have any Visa or MasterCards. Beep, beep, beep. I used expletives. And then, uh-huh. yeah. So, okay. So then you continue because I don't want to. I, I can't say any of this this stuff. Well, Why not? Actually, I, I could. I could. I could clean it up just a little bit. And uh, this is clean. You would say effing. Yeah. They no. stayed on the phone long enough to hear all this? He was saying it back to me. Oh, Whoa. my God. Yeah. So this is why I was shot. What? Yeah. So I. I Shut up. He kept saying, like, oh, you qualify for 0% interest on these on your Visa MasterCard. And I was like, I don't have a um, Visa or MasterCard, you motherfucking blankety blank blank. And he was like, go fuck yourself, you f- Get motherfucker, <gasps> go fuck yourself. And then he goes, you gotta beep where, that. 
Where? Oh yeah, I said the F word. Damn where? It. Um, where he Vox yeah, goes? Where him. are you right now? And he goes, "I'm with your mom, motherfucker." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go, and I was like, "Tell your mom, tell hell? your mom." To- I'm like, I cannot believe that he just said all this shit back to you. I was like shocked for the next like half an hour. Like, Did you I would say just some look kind at him. of like inappropriate. Uh, slang terms, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But I just like I would look at him like we were watching to hell and back in twenty four hours, and I would just look at him and be like, I still can't believe that they swore back at you and what he said to you because some people think aren't that someone would for, just lose their job running a fucking phone scam site a phone because that's all it was it was a scam yeah. yeah and you know what I just realized I have to not only bleep the audio I have to bleep the video nice because I'm doing video and it's gonna go on YouTube is it a yeah. separate recording two separate recordings oh nice this is gonna just be great <laughs> but I'm keeping up with YouTube so <laughs> just a lot Sounds of like somebody's dying. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. But it, she she was just so dumbfounded that this guy like swore back That's at me. That's kind of awesome though. It happens to me daily. Like Jessica got a call once about the the warranty. The warranty is about to expire on your car all the time. And they're mm-hmm. like, yeah, we see on our records that the the warranty is about to expire on your car. And she goes, oh, what car is that? That since you have my records. And they're like, well, it's you know, it's just, we only get a notice that you have a vehicle that's warranty is about to expire. Blah blah blah. And she's like, no, I have a warranty that covers all of those things. I'm I'm good. And she's like, you don't want the extra coverage. And she goes. Thank you for speaking to me in a very condescending tone. That really makes me want to buy your scam shit from you even more. And the lady was just awful. Like she didn't, she wasn't that bad, but she did respond like very inappropriately. My favorite ones are when the the, the people call and then they answer the phone. And they're like, "Thank you for calling so and so. How are you today?" And I, my response every like, time, I didn't fucking call you. Even better, my response every time is, "I'm doing pretty good. I just got done fun fucking your mother's twat." Oh my god! Every single time, they hang up on you right them away. Off. all the time. Either sets them off or they hang up immediately. I just can't. You had people go off on you other times. I'm telling you daily. People go off on me daily. You get that? Oh, I, I always try to get that reaction on people, and I never get that far. You got to be vulgar. Like I just don't super vulgar. I just don't have the energy for that. If they call me, I just hang up. Nah, man. Sorry. I like being so fucking mean to people. It gets my oh, adrenaline rush. Oh, you want to hear ridiculous. something? You want to hear something funny that happened? Um, that was not a spam call. It was a real phone call. Uh oh. It was a real call. I got a phone call at work from um, Village Health in. Romeo. I'm going to say that because of how rude this lady was. Okay, yeah. Fuck her. Fuck her. suck. So I get this phone what call from Village her. What is Village Health? It's a, it's a clinic. A oh, clinic okay. that I went to when I was sick clinic. once or whatever. I have a bill from there. So she calls and she's like, you know, I just wanted to follow up um, and see, you know, you have this bill outstanding and, um, we, you know, we got to get a payment set up for it. And I'm like, actually, you know, I just set up a payment for it. I have it sitting, you know, at home. I'm ready to go. It's a, There's a check about to be sent out. I'm like, I'm not paying yeah. it in full because it's a lot. I'm paying a payment on it. And she's like, Oh, okay. So you're sending in a check? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, no, I don't mean to sound um, impolite, but um, you are aware that if you don't have the funds available in your account, there's a bounce fee that they charge you. Uh, oh. What oh. The fuck? Oh, yeah. Like, she doesn't understand. Like, you don't yeah, understand she's like, how banks work. She's like, work. yeah, there's a fee if your check doesn't process. You know, like, we have to charge you a fee and your bank charges you a fee. I said, thank you for explaining the banking policies. I I oh. am an adult. I appreciate that. Um, there are funds <laughs> in my account. and um, I wouldn't write well, a check yeah. if they weren't. Yeah. At this point, it makes me not want to give you fucking money. I know. You're God. Yeah, I can't believe people treat. But the, so, yeah. you know the problem is, is if you don't pay that, doesn't affect your credit later on. Yeah, it later goes on, on yeah. it goes on collections. Yeah, and I wanted to call back and be like, hey, you know, you guys get commissions off who was able to fulfill a collections call because I want to know who that was and not let her oh, collect yeah. on it because that's bullshit. Well, well I'm the that type of person just like fucking skull throat or yeah. skull throat skull fucker. i'm like who the fuck yeah. are you yeah, what's your fucking eye but so yeah. what did you what did you say what like what did she say back when you're like i know how banks work or whatever she's like i just wanted to make sure because some people just don't realize and they send in you know bad checks and blah 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 and i'm like that doesn't give you the right to assume Every that somebody that else would or clinic. ask this kind of a question. Like, what business is it of yours whether I have the funds or not? If I get a fee, that's my fault, not yours. This, like, yeah. But this is off. a health clinic. This isn't a, a, a collection not agency. A right. <laughs> yeah, yep. It was fuck? directly from Listen. the clinic. Oh, my God. Listen here, Karen. You can call me fucking tits, okay? I, see, I'm the type of person that would go in there, though. Because I want to talk to this person face to face. Because if someone has the balls to tell me to my face. I don't like, have her name. But but I'm just yeah, saying, like in yeah. that circumstance, I want to go into a place like that. I was like, listen, 
What I have work you done, at a Fox? financial institution. I understand how that works. So thank you for trying to explain that to me. But mm-hmm. yeah, I can't believe that shit. That was a real oh one. Oh my god, I can't believe people. I can't believe I didn't tell you guys about that already. You know, I, I should... mean, I have to say that to people daily. But I I work at a financial institution, so when they have a check that's not good and it bounces, then I have to explain the fee to them. But yep. right. I would never. <sighs> yeah, I I would. <sighs> I never just so condescendingly shitty. explain it to someone before they write a check. I, I no. get a kick out of that stuff, man. I love setting people off. It's so fun. If they've already had a bunch of fees, then yeah, I have to explain oh, I've, it to I've them, said some pretty pretty derogatory, angry shit to like my student loans people and stuff like that. I get it's, called uh, on student loans ooh. and I didn't take any. Same. I, I We're know. calling in regards to your federal student loans. Oh, well, no. thank oh. you. I don't have any. Oh, no. I got a, I did a consolidation program with my one of my student loans. Oh, Directly through it. Yeah. Yeah. And this guy, somehow, okay, so when I didn't answer his call, he called my mother. I didn't give him my oh, mother's phone. you told phone. me about that. Didn't yeah. give him my He's mother's phone me. number. He called Kara, didn't give him <gasps> Kara's number. He called Kara's mom, didn't give him her number. And he called He called Chelsea. my friend Chelsea, didn't give him her number. I'm like... Yeah, I, I don't know how... He called Chelsea looking... Like, same exact call as us. He called the Chelsea that you guys know and asked for Marcus. And she's like... um, what is the call in regards to? Like, I don't understand why you're calling me looking for Mark. And they're like, unfortunately, we can't discuss that with anybody but him. And she's like, then you can call him because I he doesn't live with oh, me. She did bring me. She yeah, did bring she me did the phone. Tell you. And I walked away. Oh, I it thought was you like, weren't with her. That she no, was at home we, were at, what, we were at work. I don't remember being at work. We were at work. The sec- I think it was the second time she, he called. And uh, she brought me the phone. And I was like, like, I don't know how you're getting everyone's fucking phone numbers. But you're interrupting everyone else's fucking private lives. To speak to someone who really at this point doesn't want to fucking hear from you ever again. Right. Oh, my. I'm like, I gave you my phone number. That's the number you contact me on. I gave you times in which to contact me when I'm not working or sleeping. And you aren't contacting me in those times. Right. So if if you can't do that, I don't need to deal with you. Find me someone else to talk to. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. I'd be so mad about that. Oh, I'd be I was, so I was mad. I'd be so mad. You don't call somebody at fucking work, and co- especially calling someone's coworkers at work. Like, how much would you Personal have about if, like, too. you got told, like, if Morgan called you and told you that somebody, your student loan people were probably calling her, like, trying to reach you? Seriously, at that point, I would find out where they are. Like, I would want to go and, and speak to someone. Fucking call in a carpet bomb on the building. <laughs> uh, I mean, what? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Second Oops. that happens, Mark, they're coming for you. The government is listening. Yeah. I told Jerry he called the office the other day to try not... I think we were just chatting about something because he was out doing sales calls. And I'm like, the phone keeps like tapping. I think we're being listened to. Just because like, don't say that he's going to get paranoid. And he's like, I'm already paranoid. Oh, <laughs> man. He's like, I was born paranoid. <laughs> um, Kara. What? What is this? Oh, no, no. We still have your guys' word of the day. Share that shit. Oh, yeah. This is a new segment we're yeah, going to do. I forgot about this, this too. So. I gotta, I gotta Last week we up. scammed you guys out of the word of the day, so I apologize for that. Yeah. The word of the day was butthole. Yes. No, no. it wasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We couldn't decide on just one though, could we? No. So what Here we did? I wrote it, them down for what you. What we did? I know. We, I know. We wrote, I rewrote I wrote them, them down. down for you. Shit. Where's my? Apparently, Mark was not prepared for the thing that he. No, prepared. I was prepared, and it fucking closed on my phone for some excuses, reason. Excuses, excuses. Oh, okay, so that we're, we're, here we go. We're doing video too. Yes, we are. So, so the three words dancing. we have. We t- what I did was I took these words from uh, the the trending as of today on Urban Dictionary. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to ask you what these words are. I box them. I mean, am I kind of stealing your your segment? Do you want to take nope. these? Nope. All you owe me. Okay. He's just, so, it's just his brainchild. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I just farted this out. So <laughs> that's the brain. That's where his brain is in his body. Smelled okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So word number one is funt. Spell it, please. F U N T. I like how he's got like a fuzz when he says F. He's like <laughs> funt. <laughs> Not just like <laughs> it's like. <laughs> 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 okay. So you guys, you guys got a guess for what funt means? Uh, I'm gonna say fucking cunt. Or okay. Fugly C word. Okay. Um, <laughs> fugly C word. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I would have said the fucking cunt too. But okay. I don't know anyone that would use this like in real life. Okay. Like, what do you I, think it means? What I th- I already clicked that, but what I thought it meant was fucking cunt. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know anyone that would shorten it like that or why. 
if you want to really be derogatory oh, yeah, someone and say that, that har- you fucking throw it out you there. You drop the hard C. But Funt is a compact, polite version of fucking cunt. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Darren's wife. Polite. Uh, what a funt. Yeah, because then you just say funt instead of the hard C. No, but the, I want the hard C. The UNT is aggressive, though. Funt. Yeah, the inner thigh thigh like is it. Uh, also, it's a noun, a compound form of fat and cunt. Commonly used to in replace a fucking cunt. <laughs> funt is more appropriate when describing a fat cunt, as the soft <laughs> pronunciation is more suited to fat than fucking. Oh my God. <laughs> just take a drink. Here, just take a drink of that. The f- the funt in person, be it person, animal, or an animal, an animal object, must possess some <laughs> cuntish qualities <laughs> and meets an appropriate size level to justify the fat part of the noun. I have to put a warning <laughs> on this episode because of how many times you just said that word. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just bleep all of those? Yeah. <laughs> we just bleep this whole segment. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, apparently it has literature like background. Uh, Let's move on. Funt is that. a substitute curse word for fuck and the C word. Mm-hmm. It'll be nice. Used by the population of, of the fictu- fictional European city Download in Britain's 2080 comic series Sinister Dexter. Hmm. So it actually was in literature. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Go to the next one. So, so there, is, there is a reason for that. Well, that's a thing. Uh, so word number two, ugly hot. All one word, <laughs> ugly hot. <laughs> this is such a funny word. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna look at it. Ugly hot. Ugly hot. I don't even know where they could go with this. I mean, this is really funny. Someone's like, so ugly that they're hot. Like how dogs. Like some of them are so ugly that they're cute. Oh, that's no. what I'm. That is such a no. good one. That's what I, I think too. I thought it was too. like so, like kind of like the way that a girl would look at another girl and be like. You're so hot, it's disgusting. Like that's oh, okay, okay. That too. Okay, yeah. that's also going. I'm, I'm going to agree with like, Tosh. I'm though. thinking of like an ugly, an ugly person that you can't help but be attracted to. Like an ugly yeah. person you want to bang. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you be attracted to an ugly person? Though? Some ugly people need to get their dick wet well, too. You know. It, it, okay, but is <laughs> yeah, there I know. Per box in the last episode, I'm one of those people. Hang on. Is there <laughs> so, wait? Christ. Is there someone that is that is ugly that you were like, oh, they're they're like they're ugly, but I want to fuck them. It's like you're that you want to bang them, but you don't know why. Like, <laughs> like you can't tell <laughs> me. You can't tell me that you can't. You can tell me that at no point in your life have you seen someone that is kind of ugly. But you just, for some reason, or you find like, them sexy. Or it's like the kind of ugly that when you're in the bar and after you've had a few, they suddenly become like tens. <laughs> I don't, okay, wait, I've never what? had that happen. I've never give had me, enough alcohol to turn the two like into a, a ten. Give me like a celebrity that is like ugly, that you think that is so ugly that you want to bang them. Dakota not, Fanning. Not that they're ugly, but I want to <laughs> bang them. Uh, he was so ready with that. <laughs> he was ready. He had that locked It's true. I, no. I, I find her attractive, but she's Ew, not like you want to bang Dakota Fanning? My I mean, God. you're not wrong. She, she's, she's not. Disgusting. She's not super pretty, she's but annoying. I mean, you know what I mean, though. Kind of attractive. I don't think yeah. it's so I much Dakota. I would say Dakota that Dakota more about Ellie, Ellie, like her sister. I'd, I'd say, I'd, I'd say like Ellen Ellie's Page. Prettier. I'd say Ellen Page. I don't think Ooh. Ellen Page is ugly. That's a good one. Too. I don't think she's ugly. She's, she's so plain, but she's kind of attractive. I don't know why. It, although, all right, in, all right. although in Umbrella Academy, she's no. She don't watch. Well, they don't make her look. She's so plain. They make her look super plain for a reason. It's so bad. Okay, so ugly hot. A person who is in no way, shape, or form conventionally attractive, but everything they do, how they talk, how they walk, and the way they move is so incredibly hot that it makes them <laughs> it makes them somehow better looking. It's still it's still centered on physicality, but is more about how they use their body slash body language than their ugly faces. Are you fucking kidding me? Listen, I now that I think about it, there's like people that I remember from high school that I was like how are you getting this far? Like, why are, why are you so way, popular? The way that they carry themselves. Yeah. So, so maybe it's a really ugly person that's so super fucking confident and funny and like that they just how, like it makes them hot. Right. Dead. Right. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think of a celebrity that's like that because I'm sure there are. That is so oh, like no. Dana Devito. No, okay, some, some people. No. I think some people might say Steve that about Bushini. Lady Gaga. Oh yeah, some yeah. people might think that totally. about Lady Gaga. I'm, I think Lady Gaga is really pretty. I think Lady Gaga is really pretty, except her face. I'm trying to think. Yeah, of she's got a huge schnoz. Um, huge oh, one, oh huge God. one. But she is very confident, and it makes her a lot prettier. Like so the, pretty. like yeah. she's very attractive. Yeah. What about Mel Gibson? Like Mel Gibson could be one of those. No, his his attitude and his everything he does. Mel Gibson is good good looking. No, he used to be. No, he's good looking. I'd agree about Mel Gibson. He he's he's crazy, but he is good looking. Not anymore. No, I think so. I think he aged well. There are people. I'm trying to think of someone that Christopher Walken, dude. That's a good one. Christopher Walken. Yeah, that. I'm trying to think of people that are famous that. 
I think are attractive that if I were to see them on the street, I wouldn't think that they were attractive. You know? Yeah. Are you thinking of famous people? Yeah. Yeah. Can I you fix your I mean? mic? Uh, I got one. Any in a normal situation, normal circumstance, Christian Bale's not good looking. I just he's very he's plain, very looking normal looking. General. But and I his hate, his performances. No, I think Christian Bale's a decent looking human he's being. Pretty normal looking. Yeah. What about uh, who's the guy from? Um, fuck the Matrix. Oh, uh, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. He's great looking. Mm. I think Keanu Reeves is great looking. He's Especially better with looking the with the beard. Way yeah, better looking yeah, with the beard. Yeah. What about here. Jonah Hill? Yeah. Okay. Jonah I don't, Hill. No. Okay. He, I don't like Jonah Hill's acting. Oh, I don't Seth Rogen. Think even. I was just going to say Seth that. Seth Rogen. Even. He's his. The, he's that definitely group not of guys, like individual, none of them are really like. If I saw you in the street, I would you know want to be with you. But since you're the way that you carry yourself on screen and the like, your acting like makes you yeah. more attractive. Makes not for me no. personally, but I could see it happening with Michael Sarah too. Oh yeah, well, th- absolutely. Ew. Not for me personally, but I think for Michael Sarah, like like mm-hmm. in Scott Pilgrim versus the World. No. Stop it. Okay, no. you said Dakota Fanning, so you can fuck off. Well, yeah. one, of, one of the examples disgusting. they gave. You'd bang uh, Jonah Hill. Yes. You would. Yep. <laughs> one of the examples they gave. Listen. It You're says, disgusting. It's it a person Dakota saying this. If Dakota Fanning like, would die, then I would bang Jonah and Hill. It, uh, using, it in a sentences, uh, using it in a sentence, uh, or at least like a sentence referring to it. Oh, look at that gangly, odd-looking, very hot, strutting guy over there. So, like... They can be looking. Probably, they can be weird looking, but the way they carry themselves, it like, probably is more useful on guys than it is girls. Yeah, probably how people describe me when I was in high school. I feel like butter. Fine. I feel like that's kind of like Butterface. Eh, sort of. Not but, true. Butterface is less about their how they act and how they carry themselves, and more about just the body Pure and the body. face is gross. Yep. Yeah. What's the last one? Yeah, number three. The last one is honk witching. Well, what? Aggressive in my ears. Honk witching. Honk. H o n k. Honk. W i c h i n g honkwitching. Okay, I don't even know where to start with. Okay, uh, you're driving through the hood and you see some like thoughts on the side of the road and you got to honk at them. And the first one to look, you got to go like uh, do something to them or something. I don't know. It's just okay. so I think it's off. a sexual term. Okay. I think it's a sexual term, like when a guy's like, like a titty fucking somebody, okay. and you like they like grab the boobs and they like honk. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <you're just> like, <laughs> That's <laughs> pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm thinking that it's two cars, and they honk, and then they squeeze, they like squeeze a car in between them. Okay. While I'm, I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go more. <laughs> I'm gonna more, go more of the sexual route. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a devil's three way between two black guys and a white girl. Honk witching. Okay. You're no, the honky. Honkies. Uh, oh, okay. I was going to say, honkies are like, they use that on white people, but I see what you're saying. The same which is a, same okay. as being a honky. Okay. Let's get this over with. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are all wrong. <laughs> We're very wrong. Honk witching is the act of usually two magicians, musicians, placing sandwiches inside of trombones and honking them into each other's mouths. Ew. <laughs> Wait, say it again. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> Wait, like blowing air into it so the sandwich goes flying on the end of the <laughs> yeah. bell? Into the that's act? disgusting since so spit travels so through the instrument. There's so much spit in there. So much spit <laughs> in there. Say it again. Say it again. The act of two musicians placing sandwiches inside of trombones and honking them into each other's <laughs> mouths. <laughs> You're like, Bruh. <laughs> I played trombone. You don't have any idea how much spit is fucking backed it's up in so those things. Gross. Is that the one that has the little? Yeah. Oh. And, 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 and all of them have little spit valves that when yeah. you open it up and you blow into it, the spit just starts dripping yeah. out. At the end of the slide, there's a spit valve. You open the spit valve and you drain the spit. It's fucking <laughs> disgusting. The guy who likes to spit on his significant other, I I can't handle that. You wouldn't oh. try to catch a sandwich. It was a joke. Band people are weird. Disgusting. <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, okay. I know. I'm, what was that? Disgusting. Disgusting. I'm just gross. trying to not throw up right now. So. <laughs> oh it was very Scottish. Well, what would you rather have? Well, it's Which from that vine. What Who took a shit in the toilet and didn't bother to flush? <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you Who see? had a shit? <laughs> you didn't see that one? No, I've I've I haven't seen, seen that one. It's, it's not this audio sounds familiar, but all right. So we'll get into this. About a year ago, um, we, we played, started this podcast. Yeah, we started this podcast a little over a year ago. And we um, gave everybody the opportunity to get to know us a little better as couples and as individuals on some episodes. So Three months and eight days ago. It was ugly hot from the get-go. Three what? 
One year, three months, eight days ago. This is podcast is ugly hot. Started. Oh yeah, it's been started. Yeah. Ugly hot. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> know what. It. I don't know when we did the episode where we did the couples challenge. It was before. probably in March. It was, yeah. it was early. Um, it and was, I remember uh, that before St. Patty's Day. I remember that a lot of people liked it. They liked getting to know us. True. But now Coming it's up. been. Fuck you. <laughs> It's been um, a year now, and a lot of things have changed. Mark and I are engaged. Fox and Natasha have a house together. so We're not engaged. We hate right. each other. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. That's Fuck why they you. spit on each other. Fuck and you. Hey, we already discussed butts. this. We're just going to couple swap later. So no, yeah. that's not a thing. Not okay. legitimately. Car, just it give it 10 years, joke. okay? Come on. Yeah. 10 years. How come they're <laughs> on board with this? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> there's a mutual attraction. Oh, man. <laughs> they haven't already known each other for as long as we have, so it's like... <laughs> You almost spit on your mic. I'm I was, offended. I was no, I was laughing and I had the I had the drink in my mouth and like the the fizz and like the thought of being with you just made her puke. So <laughs> <laughs> fizz but when I, said I was it, laughing, I said it like went straight down my throat. So I, was like, <laughs> I put some emphasis on it with my voice just to see if I could make somebody laugh. Oh <laughs> she my. almost spit on her fucking mic. Anyways, Mark, um, you're so ugly. We're hot. gonna do the couple yeah, yeah. challenge again. We have an actual game to play it with instead of our phones and just some random questions this time. Damn. And um, even some little yes and no cards for certain questions. You okay. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna split it up in couples. Obviously. Okay. Um, but I don't know what you, when you guys want to go. If you want to go first, or if you want us to go first. Boys first, because International Women's Day was the other day. So, <laughs> give me, give me, give me. Well, you both get, or you two would get these. What? Wait, what? Natasha Wait, and Vox what? would both get them. I'm oh, oh, okay. What? You're gonna hold up your answers at the same time for that ah, for that round. You. It's not the first round. You're gonna hold on to those for the second round. The ah, first wait. round, you guys are each I'm gonna ask. So, are we gonna alternate rounds? Huh. Yes, there's oh, three. I guess this is so a good point to say because I'm holding these up to the camera. If you want to check out the video of this episode, it's the first episode we've done this. We're trying it out. So, Go to YouTube. Okay, so am I showing the camera my answer or am I going to show uh, you my answer? You're going to show each other, but this is only for round two, so we don't you don't need those right now. Oh, fuck okay. me. Yeah, round you're one, gonna, yeah. Round one. you're each going to get a set of questions. You're each going to get five questions. Um, we're gonna, we look? We need the dry erase board. Yeah, you can look at your own questions. Okay, it's next to you. Can you get it? Oh. So... How this is going to work in round one. I don't know which one you guys want. Ladies first. We're going to go ladies first. So Tasha's going to ask her question. And you're going to write the answer to her question on the dry erase board. And then you're going to, or sorry, other way around. She's going to write the answer on the on the dry erase board. You're going to say what your answer is. And she's going to show if you were right or not. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. But I have a feeling you're going to have to talk me through it again. It's okay. okay. So put your, card, put your card down. You don't need yours right now. Tasha, ask your first question. Okay. Do not answer Here's right. Like wait, to, wait to answer. Yeah, Obviously, let her write down like, her right answer. right away. Um, who well, is, don't show me. Why? <laughs> oh, who is more likely to deal with a spider? To, oh, you can just write him or her on it. Well, that's an easy. And one. then, okay. h- uh, him. Oh, and that yeah. is correct. So box. me, yeah, box. Okay. All right, so then you guys will like get a point. A I have a score sheet in here that I can keep yeah, track the of. The question points. is, the question she's looking for is, do we have a napkin? I'll just use my. Oh. We got the handy dandy toilet paper from the oh, yeah. drool from Tony and Shelby's a couple weeks ago. Cool. Oh, sorry. You're okay. Um, are we doing all five or are we swapping? Yep, back you're gonna forward? do all five all and then five? you're gonna switch to the other one. Oh, okay. okay. So this could take a little bit. So this is gonna be Vox and Tasha, and this is gonna be Cara and Mark. So you guys get the hang of it. It's, it was an easy question for the first one. Yeah. So then we're gonna give you so, guys the. So point you should for that. like turn away when I'm writing my answer. Well, he covered his eyes. We're good. Oh, I, okay. d- I went like this, but I can do this. Because yeah, there we go. That yeah, works. that's fine. Can you see me? Um. No. How many fingers am I holding up? I don't know. Four. Look again. One. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's one. The Mexican finger. <laughs> one is the loneliest number one. Okay, okay. Go ahead with your second question. All right. What is the occupation of your partner's parents? Oh, uh, that's both, you can both. you can phrase it when you read it. You can phrase it differently and say like, what are what are my parents do for a living or something like that? But both of them. <gasps> Mark your mom and your and your okay. dad. Yeah, you'll get a point for each. Okay. Well, her dad's a wait. Su- Wait, yeah, well, let her oh, write it down. Christ. Yep, she got to write it down. Give her a second. No, oh, well, I feel like there's going to be some dead air here, so I'm just trying to, you know, keep You can sing you for us. Serenade us. I don't know my mom's job title. Yeah, don't neither do I. Don't stop believing. Just get as close as you no. can to get as accurate as possible. Okay. All right. All right, you ready? Her dad's a supervisor for Ford, and her mom is in the Navy. That's all I know. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, so supervisor at Ford and works at a shipyard. Uh, oh, okay. So Navy. Is yeah. shipyard, like, actually, it's the Navy? Yeah. Okay. So we'll give you two points no, for that so one. No, that's the Air Force. She was in the Air Force. Oh, the oh, box doesn't get point. that question. Okay, well, fuck off. Wow. But does she you work You got one point sh- out of it. Yeah, she works yeah. at a shipyard. Okay. She's in California right now. Why didn't you say yeah. that? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, oh, I have to stay <laughs> turned. My bad. Yeah. Which one of us? <laughs> I'm good. Was hot. Yeah. Which one of us has the worst memory? Oh. Ooh. I'm ready. Go ahead. Uh, me. Yep. <laughs> I'm just going to put V or N. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have terrible memory. I have an absolutely terrible, yes, terrible memory. Um, it's awful. What is the first movie you ever saw together? Split. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're supposed Babe. to wait. You got to let her write she it. You got to let her. <laughs> do, do we get that? Or yeah, no? you, okay. yeah. Come on. Come That's on. That's why I said you, I, we can't say split at the same time. Who is the smartest? Are you done? You're good. Me. Oh, no. Burn. She's not the smartest. It's fine. You're not either. Well, one of you got to be the smartest. One of you is. Okay, who's you guys are going next? Mm-mm. No, round two. Switch sides. Swat Box skirt. gets the round two. Round, not round two, but still Fight. round one. Oh, round one, but yep. boys side. Yep. Boys love. Oh, this is bullshit. Can I get another card? It's the same questions. Is it? Is it really? Are they all the same questions? Okay, yeah, here you go. It's yeah, there's the first look at the first question. Well, can question. we can we just can you guys take that one? No, that's not the same thing. Bullshit. Look at the first question. We'll, we'll that take is it. We'll that's take different. That's not the, okay, that's not the same thing though. It's the same answer as the movie question though. How does that yeah. sound? Okay. Give me a card. I'm I gave you one. one. It's right there. Oh. oh, I don't even know this. Well, that sucks. <sighs> You're going to have to ask question it. Question number uno, it Vox. Uh, oh wait, no, I probably do. Wh- where I'm just going to write this. <laughs> Where first. did you have your first kiss? Go ahead. My friend's basement? No. Our first kiss, you dummy. Oh, us? It doesn't say. It says, where did you. Of course, yeah, it's, you you guys, it's about a couple. It's about oh. us. D- was it at the movies? I thought it was in your car. It was in the movies. Oh. Was it in the parking lot at the movies? No, it was in the movies. <laughs> oh. Give me a, a thingy. I've. <laughs> Wrong. Okay. Well, sorry. Question numero dos. Sorry, I was think- I was taking that more literally. Primo numero dos. Who straight. snores louder? Me. Yeah. Yep. We all knew that one. Yes. Have you heard me snore or something? No, he- we've just heard. Oh, he snore. We've heard horror Whenever stories. Whenever you guys spend the night, it's like oh, Natasha's snoring again. No, I can't hear you over her snoring. Trust me. Nothing beats Jessica, so we're good. Mm. <laughs> Little bear. Little bear. Little bear. That's a good uh, nickname. Where was the first place you went on vacation with each other? <clears throat> Go ahead. Maine? No. Oh, Traverse. Traverse City. When was that? It was probably the first time we went up. Oh. Well, you don't. You oh. don't. He doesn't I'm have to be right. Keep ones. this in mind. He doesn't I'm have doing to be bad. right. You just have to have matching answers. <laughs> right. Wait. It doesn't really fucking matter. No, really. I'm pretty sure it was Maine. Mm. But it doesn't. It, it just has You're to be a matching a answer. You guys have to be thinking of the same thing pretty much. Yeah, it it, it really. It's like the new. It league, really league doesn't league matter. Like I promise you, I don't really care. So we're good. I care though. Okay, who gets the last word in an argument? <laughs> you. Yep. Yep. He makes sure. Even is if that the, the last one? <laughs> nope. One more. Oh, I was gonna say. I, Box I have wins one more. if there's a tear. I know. Oh, that's not the rule. Fucking that's hell. Bad, that's a bad rule to have. I disagree. So this one has like your partners. Does that mean her? Or am I asking You're her? You're asking her about yourself. My pet peeve. Oh, okay. Don't answer that yet because I haven't written this down because I have a lot of them. Uh, this is so hard. You have a million. Because there's so many. Yeah, I know. Um, hang on. <sighs> I don't know if you'll get this. This is a really good... Dry erase pen, by the way. All right, what is my biggest pet peeve what or annoyance? Fuck? I know. I'm so sorry, Tosh. This is a hard yes. one. What? There's stuff on the floor. There's, There's screws. screws all over the floor. Oh, you know what? That was because I was hanging up the camera. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's keep this going here. <laughs> biggest pet peeve. Yeah. When people don't know how to drive. <laughs> Dish is not done. Mm. Uh, yep. That is a really good one, though. Kai, are you going first, then? Um, yeah, I'll go first. I have okay. so many pet peeves. It's oh, yeah, yeah you that's do. what like that's, how how that was a hard one. To, I don't even think I Where? have a pet peeve. Like we were, weren't we talking about this? Yeah, I don't know. We, we have talked even. about it. Here, do you need this one? No, she's got her own card. Okay. Okay. I feel so, like this is way better if you are seeing this. So I'm trying be sure to, to check out yeah. YouTube. Think oh, yeah. Where exactly we wanna? We're gonna. Okay. I know that that was we're hard not gonna get this one. Sorry about that. Okay. Where was our first date? Oh Jesus Christ. Um. <sighs> our first date. Good thing was he can't see the computer screen because I can see your yeah. answer. Yeah, <laughs> he's not gonna get this. Uh, it was definitely probably made not. By I mean, sh- if, we went in if you're gonna, if we're gonna be technical about it. it. Was probably at the park. Nope. Burger King. Yeah, it was Burger King when uh, um, 
Brian came and got me and dropped me off in there so that you and I could have lunch together. You know, I have a feeling this is going to be way that. harder for you guys just like a year ago when we did this because you guys have been together for so yeah, long. Yeah, that was back. That was like And our first, first date was literally 10 years ago. So. Yeah. Wow. Um, what was your partner's first job? So what was my first, first job? job? So hold on. Oh, fuck. Taco Bell? Nice. Yay. I was going to say Subway. That's nope. what I was thinking. No. No, I worked at Subway like How are you? not that long ago. I mean, not that long ago. How are you keeping track of the questions? I'm just writing a check mark if it's correct and an X if it was wrong. Right For down, there's 10 questions, so I just wrote it on each line. Oh. So this is your guys' side. That's my side. Okay. Um, nice. What is my favorite movie? Hold on. Your favorite movie? Yep. What's your favorite movie? I couldn't. I know this walk one. to remember. Boom. Wow, Mar, good job, dude. Hell yeah. She never lets me forget. <laughs> he bought me the book yeah, because it was my favorite movie. I and the book just wasn't. Oh, why am I writing X's? I'm right. I should be writing check marks. Oh yeah. no. So X on the first one. X first one. Check, check on the check. second one. Check, check on the second. Yep. There I've go. never seen that movie. I own it, but I've never. It's a pretty good movie. All right. I know you never seen it's it. Right. How many children do I want? <laughs> Hold on. That's not fair. That that's not fair at all. Well, okay. am I? <sighs> I wrote an answer, but just to be a little more technical. Six. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> she wrote all of them and then in parentheses, six. six. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. That's funny. Um, that's a good one. So last that's, that's one a hard is, question because like. What is my favorite song? Oh, mm, hold on a second. That's I need to, really I need to difficult. think for a second on that one. That's really, really difficult. Um, no, I feel like my favorite song changes like every week. Everyone yeah, does. mine changes all the time. She but doesn't inform me on that either. Mine hasn't changed. I couldn't in tell you very, what my favorite song is at all. All right, I'm just gonna take a shot at one of the ones I love. Uh, Mine uh, truly hasn't changed in a long time. Mark, oh, yeah? you can't see Vox's screen, right? No, I can't. Okay. I mean, I can see it, but I can't. All read right, you're good. It. Go ahead. I'm gonna guess "Still Into You" by Paramore. Nope. I almost put that Any one. Any man of mine by Shania. Oh, yep. Fuck. I almost put that one. Any man of mine. Yep. And the man of mine. Do you yeah, want me just to keep like that. score? Well, that'd be awesome. Okay, here you go. Round like <laughs> round one, part four, Marcus. I don't know since we don't have any two. Uh, unless Mark gets a two part question, we're probably going to count that one as incorrect since we don't. It wouldn't be fair. Mm -hmm. but we wouldn't have equal okay. points. Who said I love you first? Oh, oh. I, this question was the last time a year ago when we had that. Okay. Yeah, and it was me. You guys me. argued about it. It was me, but I'm pretty sure Mark is going to say, oh, okay. It was Cara. Yeah, it was me. Oh, okay. Well, you guys are finally getting on the same page with things yeah. after yeah. 10 years. Worked I said it'd be a text message. Very proud uh, of you. What is my biggest fear? Your biggest fear? Yeah. Like Wait. phobia style uh, fear? I don't know. I thought you were going to answer it. <laughs> I guess you can't really uh, ask extra questions on. like that, right? Um. Yeah, no double questions, Kara. Yeah. Oh, shit, I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of things that Mark does genuinely fear, but they're not like, I don't know. Hmm. I guess I would have to, I can't say much because then it'll, it'll lead him it towards away. what I think it'll be. It'll give it away. Give it away. Give it no, away. No, it's not that. Oh, now you can't see the answers oh, before fuck, he does, Box. I don't know. I guess you can. She so. can. I can show him. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what my biggest Cara's fear is. Answers. So was I through the uh, camera. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, just do away, something, give it, homie. give it away now. I'm a sucker for what? you. Oh, oh, Whoops. oh, yeah, yeah. Whoops. <sighs> All right, Kara. Mark's biggest fear. Is um, losing you? I yeah. mean, I guess, like, if you're talking phobia, heights. That on. Yay! <laughs> Except you spelled heights wrong. Sorry. Well, I I wrote it with, I wrote it with the e first, and then I'm like, nope, I before e except after c. Nope, and it's h e i g h. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and then I forgot about the second part, except for any except for sounding an a like, like an a neighbor ending, way. A neighbor do you know, way. Do you know how many people I yeah. have to spell heights for when I give them my email because they spell it wrong and I never get because it's Sterling Heights. Because yeah, Sterling Heights, yeah. All right, what is my favorite food? Your favorite food. Um, I might get in trouble for this. It's it, it depends on I guess the meal that work. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna throw out three things, but I'm gonna go. Pussy. I'm gonna give the what my actual answer first. <laughs> <laughs> <Kinda. laughs> no. Is there anything better than pussy? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Really a good really book. good book. Um. No. Uh. I. 
guess we'll go with country fried steak. Oh, you are very specific. Oh, you he were was real specific. That's a Mexican. Oh, see, oh. I wouldn't have guessed Mexican at all. I would have guessed country fried steak, biscuits and gravy, or beef stroganoff. What about chicken Alfredo? All amazing. I love chicken Alfredo too. Ew, I yucky. That was, yeah. um, Mark, you like Mexican food? I love. Mexican Obviously, food. But there's a lot of vegetables. Or engaged to Cara. Food. No. Like tacos. No, no one got my joke. Mexican food. Yeah, obviously. Well, did your <laughs> did I have an imaginary friend as a child? And if so, what was their name? What the fuck? You would never know that about me. No, you wouldn't know that Why? about me. You wouldn't tell that. You wouldn't tell anybody that. I don't tell that information. Is he done? You would never tell me. No, never. No. What if there was a gun to your head? Oh, just shoot me. Rather than tell me what your imaginary friend's name is. Yep. He's writing a whole lot, so I feel like my answer's wrong. I'm uh, joking, okay. Natasha. Answer? Calm down. Jesus my answer Christ. is I'm no. Upset. Not that I recall. Oh, you wrote really long just to <laughs> fuck with me. No, is that what you said? Yeah, so no, that's there was right. no. That's, that's right. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. One more. Pretty sure just I don't think I did. I mean, my parents could probably tell me otherwise. Uh, what is my favorite drink? Your favorite oh. drink? drink. There's so much. Your favorite drink. Okay, just yeah. I, I, I have a guess too, and I'm I'm right, waiting <laughs> to see what you're writing because I want to know. Oh, it's gonna suck. What? No Shh. fucking way. You, I'm so you have wrong. to stop with your reaction. I know, but I'm not sure if he means like alcoholic drink, like what he wants to drink, or what his favorite drink ever is, even if he can't currently drink it. Which I would say Mountain Dew. Um, I went with the alcoholic drink, and I wouldn't. I, have, still I wouldn't have guessed that. I, I would have said. I would have said whiskey and coke. Whiskey, Thank you. Whiskey and coke is my. But uh, you can't drink two. coke right now because it's got caffeine exactly. in it. And I can't drink Long Island unless I replace the coke. I had Long Island at the movies yesterday. Wow. Yeah, you blew my mind with that one. I should have said Mountain Dew, but you I gotta stop with your reactions. You gotta it's, stop it's with your fucking complaining because you're making Cara be like. I definitely oh, should have said Mountain Dew. Think harder. All Cara right. needs to think harder. She's been with Mark for 10 years. All right, guys. It's yeah. back to you. You got to keep in mind, though. I've tried to forget about Mountain Dew in general. I know. All right. This is going to be the yes, no round. <clears throat> round two. Fight. As I choke. Make sure these aren't the same question. Okay. Do we need this anymore? Here you go. Box. What is this? We don't need that until later. And we might need it for the last round. So do we have to ha- we have to be on the same page with this? Right? Yes. So what you're going to do, you can leave leave your sheet out in front of you. Just leave it down. And then whatever your answer is, like on the count of three, you're going to pick it up and flip it whichever way is the correct way. So just look at where it's at. You're not like flipping it pre premeditated so you guys don't know what the other one's going to say. Okay. You know what I mean? Wow. Are you Kay? going first? Or this is um, compatibility more so. This isn't like, did you guys ever go blah, blah, Round blah. Round two believe. meant for each other, question yeah. mark. Uh, ladies first, if you want. I don't care. Okay. Would you ever lie to your partner? Uh, you, got, you just hold them up together. On the count so of three. three. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. <sighs> <coughs> Would you go on a camping uh, holiday? One, two, three. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we know Vox wouldn't. <laughs> Outdoors, ew. Could, could you become vegetarian slash vegan? One, two, three. <laughs> this is too easy. Oh, we're <laughs> the, we should read off what we're saying for the people that aren't watching. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Uh, yes, no. Yes. Uh, no, we yes. We said no for lying. <laughs> he said no to camping. I said yes, and we both said no to vegetarian. Okay. Yeah, just say what you're holding up yeah. when okay. you hold it up. Is it important to to you to share household chores? One, two, three. Three. Yes. yes. We'll say yes. M- yes, Mark. Yes. Mark and I are going <laughs> to fuck this round up. <laughs> <Whoops>. Yes. <laughs> yes. Is it important um, to you to spend some quality time together every day? One, One two, two, three. three. Yes. yes. Even Michael. if it's just watching like a show together. Is that your last one? Yeah. Ugh. This could get a little hairy. Uh, <coughs> like, <coughs> I choked on my drink and now I'm having this tickle in the back of my throat. You good? I think I just, yeah, I got a couple, like, issues going on here. All right. Is it important to have separate interests from your partner? One, two, three. Yes. 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 If we got along with everything, that wouldn't be fun. No, we don't get along with anything. Uh, Do you enjoy shopping together? (laughs) One, two, three. No. Yes. (laughs) No. 
Oh. I do enjoy shopping with her. Grocery shopping is a pain in the ass, but I do enjoy grocery Aww. shopping with her. I just I hate grocery shopping. I, I like, like I like sh- grocery shopping with you, but sometimes you just like are really like upset and you just I don't fucking hate be anywhere. Shopping. Or like if we go sh- if we go to Target or something, you're like, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's because I only want to look at the video you. games. In and out, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Let's go. Get out of here. Uh, would you like to live in the city forever? One, this city two, or the city? The Three. city. Go. No. No. Sorry, that was That's a little fine. delayed. Uh, is your partner considerate of your feelings? One, two, three. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. We do argue about that, but yes. <laughs> we, we are considerate. We just sometimes come off a little arrogant Same. to each other. Uh, do you believe in marriage? One, two, three. Yes. yes. I don't want to get married. Do you believe in dragons? All right, so you guys got seven out of ten on that one. Oh, hey, nice Woo! shop. I'm sorry. I like shopping with you. You're a liar. You just said no. I mean, liar. I like grocery shopping with you. I All don't right. like clothes shopping. Right, get us Mark some you. cards. We need the yes and no's. You yes, sure do. do. Okay, one of you guys is going right. to have to do the count and Jinx, down. you owe me a code. Oh, I go first, right? Do you want to give me the sheet so I can count? Yeah, you go first. Yes. Do you want me to do the countdown? I wrote a check and then an X and then tallied next to him on which ones were Tasha, do you we want were me in to agreement do the and which ones we differed. A check and an X. Yep, okay. and then a tally next to which one we agree on and which ones we, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. Okay. Hey, do you want me to do the countdown? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Who's start? You ready? Ladies, first. Is it important for your partner to like your friends? Ooh, three, two, one. No. Yeah. I don't think it's important that you have to like your friends. I don't have friends. to like your friends, but it's important that you like my friends because my friends are fucking hilarious. And if you don't like my friends, then you <laughs> probably don't like me because we're very similar. Yeah. I, I feel like the guys are going to be really outspoken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you think it's important to donate your organs? Three, two, Ooh. one. Yes. yes. Nice. Hey. Good job, guys. I'm a universal donor. It's pretty important. So am I. Uh, would you reveal your partner's darkest secrets for a million dollars? Ooh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, a million dollars? Our secrets aren't that dark. Yeah. I wouldn't. Fuck it. YOLO. Wow. I wouldn't. It wouldn't bother me. Yeah, there's. Uh, yeah, it definitely wouldn't bother Mark if I revealed his secrets for a million dollars. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I would be like, you're sharing that million dollars. Well, a million dollars would have to make me buy a new identity. So, <laughs> Jesus. Um, do you want to see the world? Three, two, one. Yes. No. I want to see parts of the world, but not the world. I don't want to leave I don't, areas. Yeah, I only care about a few places. I do. If you could, if only one of you could go back in time, would you go? Three, two, one. Yes. No. God damn it, Kara. Ooh. You go back in time? You yeah. go back in time without me? Well, yeah. Not permanently, obviously. It doesn't it say doesn't you come s- back. It doesn't say. But not. it doesn't say you don't come back. That's true. <laughs> oh, okay. There's too many assumptions. Touche. Touche. All right. Oh, I was like, that's it? But no, Mark it's Mark's turn. Okay. Would you mind if your partner went to the toilet while you were also using, also in the bathroom? Three, two, one. One. No, no. We do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Do you think it's okay to keep secrets from your partner? Three, two, one. Yes. No. Oh shit. Oh, Kara. Little twist there, huh? There are there are some secrets that, that I is feel like it's okay, surprises or secrets. I feel like well okay. uh, secrets no. aren't surprises though. I feel surprises like surprises aren't secrets. Surprises are secrets. I feel like secrets no. are like I slept there with your brother. Things, like, okay. I would never. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I, feel like I mean, that's a secret. I think that there are. I think secrets can still be things that like aren't my business to tell you. They're not my secrets to tell you, but they're still secrets that I'm keeping from you. Okay. If they're about a mutual friend. Yeah, I guess. Like, yeah, we okay. talked about that before. I feel like you they were could like, still would be you be mad skewed. if I didn't tell you? And no. Yeah. And also the fact that I'm cheating on you. So oh, yeah, that too. Uh, Not that anybody would cheat on me according Vox, to Vox. Or cheat, and nobody would cheat with me according to Vox. Would you Stop just, it. I'm would so, you describe I'm yourself? I'm with that. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. You know that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> would you describe yourself as outdoorsy? Three, two, one. Yes. yes. Outdoorsy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Dude, I'm built for it. Do you believe in charitable giving? Uh, well, oh, three, God. It's two, a Christmas episode one. all over. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. 
Is it important to, to you to say, I love you every day? Three, two, one. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Very important. Three for three at the end, Cara. We did okay. Uh, we you did guys, okay. You guys got six out of ten. We're tied with them now. Oh, that's fine. Rip. All right, We're what's, tied. What's round three? Is this all the final sorry. round? Round three. Oh, shit. I think I accidentally put the instructions I want to keep I didn't. playing this. This is fun. Mm. I mean, we can play another round. All right. For the final round, partners are playing against each other. Partners will answer five different questions, difficult questions about each other. At the end of the round, only one player in each couple will win, and the losing partner will have to face the agreed upon forfeit. But it's just, it's just, they lose. Okay. What are, what's, what are you going to say the forfeit is? They, you lose. Down a drink? Yeah. Down a drink. Ugh. <laughs> you don't have to, like, chug the whole thing, Vox. But you got to finish it pretty quick. It's a half hour. Get yourself quick. a nice little coffee buzz. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't understand, but let's do it. Um, I mean, I guess you guys are trying to you guys are trying to beat each other this time. So, we're just so you're gonna questions? do the same thing as the first yeah. round with the dry erase board, but you're trying, trying to, to get more other. points than her. Uh, okay. Trying to crisp brown each other. So dry erase board again, please. Holy! Oh, did you just fart? Do you fart? No. Oh, it's a chair. Okay, sound like a fart. Mm-hmm. Be a pretty good fart. These are hard as fuck. That's what she said. Okay. Whoa. Okay. This oh, is gonna here. blow. Are we ready? You guys are ready to go. So, okay. so how is this working? How do they score? They're gonna do it. The, they're gonna do it the exact same way as we did on round one, but their points, like they're trying to get more right than the other person. So they're trying to get opposite answers. No, they're trying no, to get the right answer. We're just so. trying to get the right answer, but in hopes they're, that we're not when, cheating here. You can't. You can't answer answer false things on the I'm board to try and make. No, no, no. Okay. So if they ask, if the question is. Well, um, oh, I get it. So, all the questions she answers, if you get, you guys say you get, she gets five, five out of five. Right, right. She's trying to get those five better than you get however many on yours. Okay. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. Yes. How often does your partner floss their teeth? Wait. Okay. okay. Daily. Every day. Yep. Yeah, every day. Every day. Every day. That's a new thing, by the way. Within the past year, I did not used to floss my teeth every day, but I do that now every single day. Good what? dental hygiene. <laughs> I don't preach it. What is your partner's favorite breakfast? Now you guys are reading this that you're you're answering questions about Vox. Right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure that we were doing this. Right. Yeah. Okay. What is your partner's favorite breakfast food? Oh, uh, I think this is fairly. That's what you're easy. going with? Yeah. Okay. This go is ahead. Uh, peanut butter toast. Oh, I said coffee. Oh, that's okay. not a food, but okay. I mean, I feel like he would consider <laughs> it a food. Most days, I just. Try is it coffee. your breakfast? Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. 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 I mean, most days, but my favorite is peanut butter toast. That's not a bad choice. Yeah. I love toast. Um, if your partner could have dinner with anyone living or dead, who would it be? Oh, that's a good uh, one. That's a very good one. Huh. That's a. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. Have. What is it? Breakfast? Dinner. 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 Oh, shit. There are literally so many choices on this, but yeah. I'm just going to say Tyler Joseph. Does that Ooh, count? I would that count counts. it. I, I would count it. said 21 pilots. pilots. Okay, yeah, so straight up. I mean, if Josh is there, then cool. But <laughs> even though Josh is my favorite, I've met him twice as many times as I met Tyler. So. Yeah. Um, what is the most romantic thing your partner has done for you? <laughs> the most <laughs> th- romantic thing that you've Not done for Not teabagger for a day? Yeah. I didn't spit on her You're in the shower welcome. yesterday. <laughs> Uh, th- I'm gonna have to go for a long stretch on this because that's I think it's the only romantic thing I've done for her. But okay, go ahead. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, heart shaped pizza. Oh, I said bought me a house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, swanky <Okay>. face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't really think that's romantic, but <laughs> I sent her heart shaped pizza from Hungry Howie's on Valentine's Day last year. Yeah, that yeah. was sweet. That that's was pretty romantic. cool. Hey? Okay. I thought you got her like a romantic kind of gift or like a sweet considerate gift on Christmas or something. Something she really wanted. A smack in the mouth. No. With your wiener? Yeah. Well, oh no, she's the one that got you a really thoughtful gift. Yeah, I think, the, mo- yeah. I think the most romantic thing I ever did was for. Uh, is that all of them? No, there's for one more. Anniversary. Oh. Una más. What is your partner's dream job? Ooh. Ooh, We've I talked think I know the answer to this one. Too. Have we? Vox does have some different some a couple different dreams. aspirations. Yeah, I have a lot of different things I like to do. Or I think he wants to do a lot of doggy shows. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if we've talked about this, then I know for a fact it's probably um, a famous radio DJ. 
Radio. There you go. Ooh, uh, yeah, I would radio give it through host. a pen, but yeah. yeah, yeah. So radio show host. Yeah. Nice. <coughs> there was one that you said you'd want to do, and it really like threw me off guard, but I couldn't think of what it was. Yeah, I can't. All remember. right, other way around. He wants to do like six things. I know. Even if he was already a DJ, he'd be doing like four other things for a living. Don't be hating. I'm not hating. You just got a lot of hobbies and a lot I of know. things you like to do. I know. Oh here. Uh, I already have mine. Oh. I'm good. Oh, I'm gonna get all these wrong. Think. Radio all right. Gaga. All right. You ready? Radio Goo Goo. Radio Gaga. All right. What is your partner's maiden mother's maiden name? Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Are we what, ready? Can I spell this wrong? <laughs> yeah, um, you yeah. can just spell it as close as you can. <laughs> okay. Bergeron. A. Bergen. I don't want to talk about it. Close enough. Bergen. Bergeron. Bergen. It it's on her Facebook. I knew what it was. Yeah. Wait, do you know my mother's maiden name? Uh, it starts with a C. It does. I'm shocked that you know that. Cornelison. Yeah. Hey. Yours is really? Cornelison, and his my, mom's my maiden name is Cornell. Cornell. Oh, weird. Yeah. She really did Chris? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, There's yes. a lot of Cornells. You don't know. Yeah. There's a whole lot of Cornells. Has your partner ever had a supernatural experience? Ooh. I'm ready when you are ready. These are questions about yes. Tosh, right? Yes. What's yes. supernatural experience? Oh, we, she told um, us about this before. Yeah, like yeah. at my old house growing up, it was always just, oh, was just yeah, really yeah. weird experiences. Yeah. And I heard yeah. like angels singing and... Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's freaking. Hang on, I'm writing. Yeah. That's what we're doing. You're writing. Shut up. He's, okay. I think he's writing yeah, his yeah. answer before he. Yeah, he, is. he tries to. Which is smart. What kind of pizza does your partner like best? Hawaiian. <laughs> Gotta have that pineapple. Hawaiian. That's, I love mine. That's best best pizza. By the way, <laughs> excuse me. I do. Box is reading that question while staring at me like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two more. Where was your partner's worst ever holiday and why? Oh, my God. So is this a two-parter? Yeah. I don't think so. Car, grab a couple, ca- couple of those cards for us. Here you go. What? Mine's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, I don't have any two-part questions. Here. Here. So it's all or nothing. Cause I got it all. He's doing a lot of writing over there. He's writing an entire novel. He needs a reason. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Worst vacation and why? What? Your worst vacation and why? That's vacation or holiday? Holiday. Oh, holiday. holiday. That's what I mean. Vacation. Vacation. My Hol- worst vacation? Yes, and why? It says holiday trip, right? Or it's just like ho- they, they're they saying holiday, and it's. Oh. I think that's what they're saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, they I asked thought holiday us, meant like Christmas, Thanksgiving, New it Year's. It could. This is a fucking British game, I bet. Because the sorry. other question was like, what. Where was holiday. your? F- where did you go for the first holiday with? Yeah, your when partner? you go on holiday, that's, uh, that's a vacation. Holiday. Yeah, it's like on holiday. Yeah, so vacation. Sorry, we all understood it the same way. Uh-huh. This is it's, gonna be. Wrong. This says it's a hilarious game I for competitive couples. I don't think that's us. <laughs> no, not at all. Just give me something, babe. I can't even think Just of one. I literally can't think of like a worst vacation. A, a bad vacation that you've had. A bad vacation, really. Really? Okay. How about Kalahari? And it's not for the podcast to explain the reason why. I don't think that was a bad. Oh, <laughs> you don't. You don't think that was a bad vacation. It was so you fun. You did kind of talk about talk about Kala, your Kalahari. I mean, it was no, podcast, I mean, she, I like no. I think it was just us. Just talking. Oh, it was okay. A, okay. Nope. Yeah. Uh, done. Done. Move, done with it. Okay, got it right. Our turn. All right. How many? I didn't keep track. Oh, how many did you fuck. guys get? I got one more. But how many did you guys oh, okay. get right? I'm sorry. Oh, that was my first one wrong. Okay. And this one, I'm going to get wrong. I'm sorry. Why? You're fine. Because you're mad at me. I'm not mad at you. It's just a game. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I'm going to get this one wrong, too, for some reason. And you're probably going to be mad at me, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, what is your partner's Zodiac sign? Oh hey, God. wait. Let him write it. I have no <clears throat> goddamn clue. I have no goddamn clue. My grandma is this, and so is my mom. I, I can tell you're wrong. Uh, that's fine. Capricorn. Oh, yeah. Way wrong. Leo. That's Mark's fucking August. <laughs> Does it look like I give a fuck? You're a cancer. <laughs> so? You guys both got three points. <sighs> okay. Okay. Do you sound like... Do you pass the, pass the board over to Kyle? Thanks. Hey, do you do you watch Good Mythical Morning? Uh, no. Oh, never mind then. Watch All right. So for this first one, this first one, I'm going to have to hold... You the, would love it, I have Mark. to hold the board so that the, the 
camera can't see it because it says what is your partner's mobile phone number oh oh okay uh sorry okay are we gonna you go, this guys. out you don't have to read it out mark just just just, just look at it and say that it's a yes or no that's definitely it okay i even knew that yeah okay there we go we're good with that one five eight six nope seven one, four two, four three. nope five 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 nope five 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 Call five 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 Five, five. Oh, you guys got that right. right. All yeah. right. Obviously. Has your partner ever performed on stage? On stage. <laughs> <laughs> on st- I'm Write your answer. Okay. Write my answer. Yes. 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 What what are you considering on stage though? Uh I was in concert band. Okay, I didn't know if you guys did your concerts on stage. I was also thinking of the the Bell River Bar when you were up on the pole. So I also have acted before. I was gonna stage. say you you act at Blake's, and yeah. I think that's and kind there, of a stage. There have been stages. Yeah, and I was like, you, get, I think you all see of that how qualifies. many people a night and yeah. how many people a weekend. All right, what is your partner's favorite TV show? This is difficult, but I'm <laughs> gonna this go. This is probably easy. Okay. Whoops. Okay. <clears throat> I'm spelling it short. I see that. Short. Okay, go ahead. Dragon Ball Z. Damn it! That's what I was saying. <laughs> Shame. Dragon Ball Z, baby. I knew Shame that. Guy. That's why I said this. I should have known that. Easy. <laughs> I should have known, known that. All right. What? <laughs> this is a horrible one. Which household chore does your partner most dislike? Oh. I mean, I know the answer, but it's all of them. I was wondering. She's gonna wondering. write all of them, but it's it's dishes. <laughs> dishes. Dishes. I was gonna say it sounds like my pet peeve when the dishes ain't done. Fucking hate. Hate, hate, hate the hate dishes it. with a passion. All right. And what is your partner's <laughs> lucky number? Ew. Oh. Go ahead. My lucky number is 13. 13. Boom, Nathan boom. Scott. Unlucky. No. Lucky. Yep. I graduated in 2013. You fucking youngin'. Our motto was no luck needed. Oh, that's, that's pretty Stupid. good. Stupid. That's pretty good. Uh, that actually is pretty cute. What is your partner's what? favorite flavor of ice cream? Dick. You're a bitch. <laughs> Dick. I heard that. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Superman. God damn it. Oh. Wow. Got it right. Dude. I was going to put Scooperman because the off brand is called it's, Scoop. No, it's Super called Scoop Super or whatever. Scoop, yeah. Super Scoop? Super Scoop. That's the off brand version. Okay. Does this taste good still? Yeah, it's, it's really good. I haven't had Superman ice cream probably since I was in elementary school. At what age? Does your partner intend to retire? <clears throat> wow. Well, we know the answer for Mark. Okay. I'm, he's gonna he's gonna have written an actual number. Mine isn't really a number. It's just as soon as Mark makes enough money that I can. <laughs> 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 uh, I would guess like fifty four. I said sixty five. Oh. Question mark. Because that's the retirement 54? age. Fifty four. I don't know. You'll be I rocking. I thought you were gonna still. put sixty nine. Yeah, you think right? Do you have a retirement set up right now? Hell no. Okay, then you cannot stout, start I've counting years. You gotta, you gotta talk to Taylor. And you should you should work thirty years before retirement. Fuck that. So I won't retire until I'm. What in is my 60s. your partner's favorite karaoke song? Oh, my favorite karaoke song. <coughs> I've heard you sing a few, so Fuck. I don't even know. You haven't heard me sing can- karaoke before. Yes, I have. When? My birthday. Blake's Halloween party, and you sang during their birthday, didn't you? Huh. Yeah. Didn't you sing on my birthday? No. Oh, well, Blake's Halloween we party. Wellington? I sang at the table with us. Nope. You got on stage and, with your sister. Okay, Cara. Oh, yeah. That was really bad. Okay, that was Cara. really, really bad for karaoke. Uh, my favorite karaoke song? Yep. Um, it's, oh, what is it called? It's a Miranda Lambert song. Um, is it wrong? Wrong. Any man of mine. I, I, do, I was trying the, to remember the, the name of the Miranda Lambert song. That's the first one that I sang song. in front of our friends. Like, I haven't sang on karaoke I'm, by myself. I was trying so hard to remember the name of the Miranda Lambert song. I've never sang Miranda karaoke. Miranda Lambert, Harry Underwood, isn't it? No, not not something bad. That's like with Jessica. It's um, Ain't My Mama's Broken Heart. Yeah. That's the Mama's one I was trying heart. to think of. I've I've never sang karaoke unless you count, like, rock band. That counts. Ish. Okay. Well, I've done that. Has your partner ever flown business class? Uh, okay. No. <laughs> oh, hey, easy. That was a shit question. Yeah, what the fuck? I had to give out his phone number. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. Uh, what is your partner's biggest regret? My biggest regret? That's regret. My biggest regret. Not even. I got it. So whenever he's ready. <laughs> huh? It doesn't say not even an A. <laughs> not even one one letter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. God damn it. 
you're quoting the movie. And I'm like, what are you saying to me? <laughs> <laughs> Not even one letter. That's so funny to me, man. Mm. Here, do you need this? Okay, I'm wrong. Oh. I know I'm wrong, but f- fuck it. It's worth the laugh. What was the question again? My biggest what is regret? your biggest regret? My biggest regret is... <laughs> what um, was the question? <laughs> Not Sorry, snatching I you up early. I drank this by myself. What are you? Oh, <laughs> what? Cara, what's your biggest regret? Oh. Dating you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, that's probably what he wrote on there. No. But no, my biggest regret is uh, blowing my settlement checks. Oh. oh. I said letting me try anal. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Oh. Oh. Mark's biggest regret is that it doesn't work out. Yeah. yeah. We tied. We tied. Hey, yeah, we're all great. First but round tie. But who First. lost the third round on on each couple? Um, Vox and I each got three. You guys tied. Um, and then Kara got four, and you got two. Oh well, I guess I lose. Rip. <laughs> so I win out I, of those. I'm the loser. I win out of those. Yeah. But we tie it as couples. That means we're awesome. Yeah. So you got we got five out of ten on the first. You guys got six out of ten on the first. The second round. Didn't we tie? We got the seven out of ten. A year oh. ago? Did we tie no, a you year ago? Us. Oh. We got down to like one question. Yeah, the first the second round we got seven out of ten, you got six out of ten, and then this round we each got six out of ten. Wow. Wow. We done good, guys. Yeah, that, that was a good show. Yeah. What? How long? Hour. Nice. Ten minutes. Pretty I wasn't pretty sure pretty if one good. round of it, like one game of it would, would take up all that time, but Sure got on dead. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and got some laughs out of our reactions. Yeah. Um and now that you guys can see a video of us, um, Vox might have to add some blurring circles if you can see those penises from the camera. What's wrong with the penises? You can't have that on Facebook. Or not Facebook, YouTube. YouTube. Why? Because if, if you end up getting to a point later on where they monetize stuff, it'll be demonetized. You can't see it. I don't matter. ever plan on monetizing your I'm, shit. We swear so I'm much and play saying. other people's music. <laughs> you can't you can see swear. it. After the first 15 seconds, Actually, you guys said cunt too many times in this one. So. I said cunt a lot. Mm. Yeah, this is a lot of cunts. A lot of cunt warnings on this one. (laughs) (laughs) Warning. Lots of cunts. (laughs) Bunch of cunts, if you will. See you next Tuesday, warning. (laughs) All right, that's all I got. Uh, So thanks for listening, TFO Podcast. You have to post this on Tuesday. Check (laughs) check us out at tfopodcast.com. Uh, check out our Redbubble if you want some merch. Check out our Patreon if you want to help us out. And you can get some some stuff in return. Shout out to our current patrons, Steve, Dustin, Sam, and the Loch Ness Monster. Um Check us out on uh, any podcast app and on YouTube. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. I'm Marcus. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm Kara. <laughs> I'm the tiger. I forget who I am. I don't, I don't know why you. Thanks would. for listening. Uh, hope you had fun. Bye.